Well, most of those stories came from public market investors, most notably Fidelity, following their own particular rule set, which is different than how private companies operate. I mean, there's if you if you index against uh, private uh, public markets for all venture investing, you would end up with some times where there would be times that you would say, oh, you take great company X, you know, Facebook, LinkedIn, etc., and you would say, oh, we marked it down this quarter because when it was private company because there's value there's variation in the public market that's actually not how the private market usually actually really thinks about things the problem is they have to do it because of regulation so it creates a press cycle but that's not the time frame on which we should evaluate these companies so do you find it alarming or no no i don't really? i think actually don't even really pay attention to it mm. okay okay what about snapchat in general i mean now that we're years into this mm. And there are so many different social networks, and you are the guy who created the professional mm. social network. Where's all this going? Can all of the Snapchats last? So I think so. Look, I think we obviously have a macro evolution to uh, networks, to mobile. Uh, people are spending a lot of time with it. They're getting a lot of value, both in entertainment and work. I think that those macro trends all are continue to be vigorously in an upward direction. Uh, one of the things I think is particularly great about Snapchat is, and I'm not on the board there and I'm not an investor, so I don't have any inside information, but they've clearly demonstrated an ability to invent new products like stories and other kinds of things that create the new products that are the defining, like here's a new social product that everyone pays attention to and starts building their own versions of. And that's very, that's very good evidence for a strong future. So do you see social networking as a much more sort of disparate thing or will there be a few dominant players i mean the thing is i can't instagram and whatsapp and snapchat and facebook and linkedin i mean it's just too much uh -huh. it's too much and it also seems to me that it just can't possibly be sustainable because i will make a choice mm -hmm. and choose two three maybe well there's a lot of people in the world so as long as is if everyone makes the exact same choices i agree with you it's probably you know uh, three to five, right? However, some people say, look, uh, actually, in fact, uh, the, uh, like, for example, teens and so forth say, look, the actual disappearing content really matters to me. That helps me create privacy in a, you know, kind of modern digital age. And that's one of the reasons that I adopt it. Whereas other people, like, I don't Snapchat. I presume you don't Snapchat either. I don't either. really Snapchat. Right? Yeah. No. So, so, <laughs> but, but, so that's not our three to five, but it's in their three to five. And there's a lot of people in the world. So you can easily get to more than three to five companies because there's different, whose list of three to five is different in different cases. So so what does worry you right now? What signs are you seeing that are of concern? I'd say the primary thing that I pay attention to is, you know, we've seen a lot of really great companies created five to eight years ago. What are the companies that are being created now? Uh, which areas will, the, will they be? Uh, for example, everyone knows that we're continuing to trend towards a mobile universe, but we haven't seen an interesting mobile breakout company in the last couple of years. Is that because they're not going to happen? Macro, you know, then the environment's not right for them, or is that because we're not finding them? And so, as a venture capitalist, we're looking very intensely to say, it's still a mobile world. What else is coming? Um, I also think that the question of, of some of the questions of more hard tech, whether it's uh, you know, like more car companies in addition to Tesla, which is, you know, great. I, I, I have two, <laughs> right? Uh, both in SN and X. And, um, uh, you know, how do we, uh, but also in the intersection of biology, you know, other kinds of things that will have macro impact. Do we have more of those kinds of companies as well? Mm. Those are the two things. It's mostly, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm an optimist. It's mostly, what are the new things to build? It's interesting that you say you don't, there hasn't been a mobile breakout company for the last couple of years. And yeah. as somebody who gets basically a first look at anything you want, you probably have the best Rolodex in Silicon Valley. That would concern me. Yeah, although sometimes, look, there's just cycles sometimes. Like maybe, in fact, it's the, the right invention hasn't happened. You know, maybe the fact is mobile distribution is still very difficult to figure out because, you know, unlike the... Uh, the web, which is relatively an open platform, the internet's an open platform, the mobile ecosystems tend to be more closed platforms. They tend to be more driven by a fairly narrow aperture in the app stores. And so maybe things getting the right distribution to the right critical mass is more challenging. So that's, and maybe that, maybe something will figure out how to make that happen. And so then that, that open ecosystem then creates more interesting things.